I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. Hi, Sister Vanessa of the Lord's name is to be praised. Ministry. God bless you from the rising of the sun and the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. Praise God. Psalm 113 and 3. Praise God. Father, we just thank you for your goodness and mercy. All that you've done. All that you're going to do, Lord God. Oh God, be with us today as a Teach the Bible class. Give me what to say and how to say it, Lord God. Let the word be applied to our heart that it might not sin against thee. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I'm, I'm going to be teaching some Sunday school this Sunday, 10 o'clock on my Facebook, live. And on at, two, at 12 o'clock, my pastor, Elder, Superintendent Elder Reginald Bradley, he'll be bringing forth the word at, at uh, 12 o'clock on Sunday. And Tuesday, prayer and Bible band, Elder our superintendent Elder Reginald Bradley, he will be he'll be uh, teaching the Sunday, the uh, Bible class prayer and Bible band due to his wife breaking her ankle. Keep her in your prayers. God bless you. Get your Bibles out. Let's get ready to get into the Word. Colossians chapter one verse one through fifteen. Uh, first verse reads this: For I would that you that you knew what great conflict I have for you and for them at Laodicea and. For for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh. Second verse is that, I think I'm going to try to explain the first verse. Um, there's a conflict, there's a problem with false teachers, false uh, preachers, and different people bringing forth the word that's contrary to God's word. Anything contrary to the God's word, that will be a curse. If it's an angel from heaven, turn away from that. Laodicea is um, not that far from Corinth. And Paul was went to Ephes uh, to Ephesus, and there was a, a convert, possibly that wrote to start the church in uh, Laodicea, was a convert of, of, of was a convert of Paul, that started the church, and and and, uh, and this also letters also for many believers that had not seen Paul, they heard of him but they didn't see him, but the word is so part, quick and powerful, you can save to the utmost. And sharp then into it, so divine the son, the soul, and spirit. Paul was in just one of his prison uh, uh, epistles, letters that he wrote in jail due to, because he um, he was put in jail due to preaching the gospel. Right? Okay, but there's a lot of heresy, false teaching that's contrary to the biblical doctrine. Doctrine means teaching. Okay, and uh, you know that the Laodicea. The, I looked that up. Means lukewarm. And we know in Revelation 15, 3 and 15, say you need, uh, I know thy works, thou art neither cold nor hot. You got to be either you, you're on the Lord's side, come on the Lord's side, or come all the way. Praise God. Put your hand to a plow, plow, and I fear for the kingdom. 2 and 2 says, Colossians, that their heart might be comforted. It's trying to, he wants to encourage, even though we hear all this false doctrine and false teaching, uh, the, the, uh, you know, the prince and, uh, power of the air, the devil is prince of power of the air, and uh, he has his own um, angels and uh, um, ministers transform into the angel of light. But that doesn't mean a thing when it comes down to the Lord's in control. God keeps us from falling. He thank God for the Holy Ghost. We bring all things that remembers, open up our understanding of his, he opens up our understanding of his word. He it gives us a spirit of discernment. Praise the Lord. So we know. Uh, it doesn't line up to the word. I don't care if it's halfway talking, half the scriptures, like the devil used part of scripture for Jesus as he was in drawn into the wilderness of the spirit. That uh, it, it had to be rejected. It's got to be all the way, like God's word is all the way. Praise God, because a, a word, His word won't. Uh, his word's gonna come to pass. Heaven and earth will pass, will pass away before His word won't. Every jot and tittle, everything. So we got to put our confidence and trust in the Lord. Verse 2 and 2, uh, that thy heart may be confident. He wants to encourage their heart. Be knitted together with the love, God's love. God's love is not this goppy love. It's not like this worldly love. It's God's love. Uh, you know, we love the Lord first, and then you love our brothers. We love ourselves. And if you have God's love in you, you won't be out there trying to hurt your brother, commit adultery, fornication, stealing, all these other things. You'll love them as you would love yourself. And, and, and to all the riches of the full assurance of understanding. God gives us a good understanding of his word. Thank God for it. And acknowledge men of the mysteries of God and of the Father and of the and of Christ. Of the uh, understanding of the mysteries of God, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. 
praise the Lord, and uh, knitted together in love. And, and uh, love suffers long, it's kind, and it bear, it puts up, you know, it, sometimes we have to give, be patient with one another, long suffering. God was long suffering with us. Colossians 1 and 26, even the mysteries which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest, made it brought out and clear, made clear to his saints. Colossians 1 and 27, to whom God would make known what is the riches, God gonna make known the riches and glory of the mystery among the Gentiles. God includes the Gentiles. We were grafted in. Praise God, which which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ is, lives in us and, and walk in us. Praise God. And uh, he's in us. And thank God for the Holy Ghost. This temple is the temple of God. God didn't want, we, God didn't want to defile the temple of God by transgressing the law of God. Praise God. And uh, we're saved through faith, through grace, uh, not of ourselves, lest any man should boast. It's the grace of God. We didn't deserve what the Lord has done. He was down on the cross and paid for our sins. And he, hide, he, he hung on the cross and died. And, and carried, bore our sins. We died with him, and we were crucified. We were crucified with Christ. That old man, we were crucified with Christ. Uh, four and three of uh, Ephesians, endeavoring to keep the unity. God wants to keep that unity, the love uh, of of the Spirit in the bonds of peace. Praise God when you love that God's love, His love of peace. Uh, Twelve and fourteen of Hebrews said, "Follow, follow peace with all men, and holiness." Without, no man should see the Lord. If you, when uh, God respects a sanctified, because he came in, he condemned sin in the flesh. We don't have to obey sin anymore. Uh, we were born in sin, shape, and iniquity. We couldn't help ourselves. It was a natural thing to do what do what everybody else was doing, what the world was doing. But when God comes in our heart and changes us, gives us a new, uh, he gives us his spirit, praise God. His spirit bear witness with our spirit that we're sons of God, we take on the nature of the Lord. But for, for say, follow peace with all men, holiness, sanctify, got to be a clean life. God is holy. Bible said, be holy for I'm holy. And which is, no man shall see the Lord. Uh, three and two, uh, two and three of Colossians, for whom are hid, are hid all the, this is in God, the treasure of wisdom and uh, knowledge. All of it is in God. Uh, Romans eleven thirty three of the depths of the riches, both for the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable is his judgment and his ways past finding out. God, we was a great God. Praise God. He's a great God we serve. Praise God. He's got unsearchable in our, his judgment. Oh, the depths. There's heap deeper depths and higher depths, higher heights in the Lord. He wants us to grow in grace and the knowledge of our, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. On the, uh, oh, the depths of the riches. God, riches and rich in mercy. Rich in both understanding and knowledge. And James let us know if we lack wisdom, ask God. Ask God. God to give it to us. And he will give it liberally. He won't upbraid it not. He won't hold back. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, praise God. We were. I was talking about how there were false preachers, pre, I mean, uh, uh, teachers, and people have manly worldly wisdom. Philosophy is a, a worldly exist. Uh, uh, reasoning, human, manly wisdom, worldly wisdom. Praise the Lord. And uh, some things, some of this philosophy overshadows uh, will um, conflict with the with the Word of God. We can't let nothing conflict with the God's Word. Praise the Lord. And uh, let us know. Don't be deceived by vain talking. Uh, by by, by um, yeah, by vain talking. But uh, Colossians two and four. For I say, lest any man should beguile and fool you, you with enticing words. Praise God. Don't let nobody deceive you. Stick with the word of God, what God says. Master, I love by bread alone, but every word that proceed out of mouth of God. Ephesians 4 and 14, that we henceforth, don't be like children. We were in the world and thing, doing back and forth, and carried about every wind and doctrine. But I thank God for the God in heaven, the Lord, the Holy Ghost. God drew us to him, drew us. And, and let us know. Bible says, "Ye shall know the truth. Truth shall make you free. Who the Son set free is free indeed." To instruct us to uh, come on the service or, or hear the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And um, praise the Lord. And uh, direct us to it. I thank God for the Holy Ghost convict us from proving the world of sin. Let us know what we look to God and that we need a Savior. And the direct us to the Savior that can save us. Praise God to the utmost. Okay. And be like to and fro uh, as. Uh, 
that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the sledge of men and, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive you. The false uh, teachers and uh, just waiting to deceive you. Praise the Lord. But you know, we got to be built up on our upon holy hope. I'm going to read on the, read it like it's supposed to be read, but we got to, you know, you have to free that inner man, the, the food of the Word of God, and uh, let him be a curse. Anybody come with some other kind of gospel, if an angel from heaven, let him be a curse. Thank the Lord. Verse 2, Colossians 2 and 5. For though I, I'm absent, I'm not there with you, Paul. He's in, he's in prison. I'm not there. I've met the people. Uh, but the Holy Ghost is powerful. God's saying words you hear here in this city. It can be preached on airways and somebody can be saved and around the world somewhere, maybe in Russia or somewhere, can get saved. And they can, you know, praise God. It's power. Yeah, praise God for uh, absent, uh, yet am I with you. Join. We're family of God. And spirit, join and behold in your order and establish of the faith in Christ. So I hear about, Paul is letting, I hear about how you are rooted and grounded. You, you, you. Um, praise God. You, you. Sh I'm, and I'm, I'm. How the Lord. Is, how there's growth. There's spiritual. There's higher heights, deeper depth. There's growth in the Lord. Praise God. Far away for He's not with you. But I rejoice that you are live. But you know that you're living the life. You know you got to live the life. And you should. And, and uh, that your faith in Christ is strong. You know you're growing. There's strength. Now, praise God, 15 and 58 in the Lord. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. You got You can't be movable by everything that what you see. Like I was, we was talking about how Peter was walking on water and he loved the bush. I think it was the wind was was blowing and he, he, you know, looking at the circumstances, he went under. And but we got to keep our eyes on Jesus, no matter what's going on. On Jesus, praise God. Therefore. My beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work. You're busy getting, doing, uh, being about God's work. And so much that as you know that your labor is not in vain. What we do for the Lord is not going to be in vain. He's going to pay for it. We're going to pay for this. It's going to be paid by God after a while. He's going to pay. He's going to um, take us to heaven. Praise God. With all of the deeds that the Lord put on your heart to do, uh, and to, and to, uh, God's going to pay us. We're going to get paid. For that, thank the Lord. God's gonna pay us. Praise God. And um, verse two and six: As ye have therefore received Christ, since you got saved, you received Christ in your life. You're a new creature. Instantly, you're saved. Your heart is a heart change. I believe in your heart. The gospel, that burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. I believe in the gospel. He did that for me. That He washed my sins away. I'm clean. And uh, as you receive Jesus Christ, I receive Him in my heart. So walk ye in Him. So. There's a life behind it pray, with Christ. Praise the Lord. And continue to follow him. Follow me, like Paul said. Follow me as I follow Christ. And walk in the Spirit will fulfill the lust of the, the flesh. In uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 30. And of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God made us unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemptive. 1 Corinthians 1 and 30 says that but but of him Jesus are ye in Christ Jesus of, of him God okay Jesus said we are ye in Christ Jesus who of God has made us wisdom and we're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus he, he changed us it was a new life wisdom spiritual wisdom come from above and sanctification sanctified set apart for the master youth and uh, nothing uh, not for we're done with the, the uh, the Bible said, let us sin reign in your mortal body that you may obey the lust of the earth. We're new creatures. We don't have to obey the devil because Jesus condemned it in the flesh. And redemption. Jesus' blood paid the price for our sins. Uh, 2 and 7 of Colossians, rooted up. You know how we plants are just root. When you try to go out in the yard and try to pull up a little baby tree, you got a little fight to pull. If it ain't, if it's not really big, it had not gone deep, deep and you can't really pull up. You have to do some work. But God wanted to be rooted, not unmovable, and built up in Him, and, and uh, living off His Word, and established and established in the faith, uh, as ye have been taught and abounded therein with thanksgiving. So He's saying you continue to be rooted in His Word, 
and built up in God. The root is the tree of the foundation. It the foundation is on Christ Jesus, which draw water from God for our spiritual life. is is from God. There's growth, abounding. Therein with thanksgiving, abounding means to be. Uh, abounding means a lot of be giving God thanks, praising Him. Uh, pra uh, praises are commonly for the, the upright. Uh, Colossians two and eight. Beware. This is a beware. Lest any man spoil you with blank, vain philosophy. These are nonsense stuff. Nonsense. We hear a lot of nonsense stuff sometimes on TV. Stuff that doesn't make sense. Stupid stuff. In Congress and stuff like that. Nonsense stuff. You know, God gives us a sound mind. And not only Congress, other places. Nonsense talking. Philosophy. Uh, man's wisdom. Uh, say, don't spoil you with that. Take, Try to... Uh, rake what you, what you already have. You got to be rooted and grounded where you be not movable. Vain deceit, and uh, and after the traditions of men, not after the rudiments, after the rudiments of the world, not after Christ. I was just a long years ago. I was a young man was preaching and said how fish just uh, everybody can go the same way or down the current, but the fish that go the opposite way go against the current. You got to go against the current. Obey the Lord. Go the opposite, go, you know, obey in the Lord. You can't follow like do what everybody else with the prince and power of the air the devil wants you to do. We, he has no more power over us anymore. Thank the Lord. We're new creatures. And uh, uh, don't get spoiled by listening to all this uh, uh, crazy, uh, weird, uh, well, worldly stuff. Thank the Lord. And 2 and 9 of Colossians, for in him, this is in God, dwell all was Christ was in God, but in but for in Him dwell Christ is God. Let me put that right. For in Him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Oh, so God was in Christ. Praise the Lord. And G God used and God had a body prepared for His Son Jesus. And Jesus is God also. All of them are the same. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And uh, the God, God calls us. The Holy Ghost convicts us. And, and there's no way to uh, look to Jesus and Jesus washed our sins away. Okay, Christ is the image of the invisible God. He's the image of the invisible God. The Godhead is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Corinthians 1 and 15, who is the in the image of the invisible God? Je uh, Jesus is. And the firstborn of every creature. 1 and 16, Jesus rose from the dead. By his, father, his son, God the Father, raised his son from the dead. Uh, uh, but Jesus said, "Nobody can take it my life. I leave my life down. I can pick. I pick it back up." But the uh, uh, First Corinthians one sixteen: For by Him were all things created, because God, Jesus created all. God spoke the word, and Jesus made these things come to come where you can see them, where it's made them visible. They're in heaven, that are in earth, and that are visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones, dominions, or principality, powers, all things were created by Jesus, and for Him. We're made for the Lord. Praise God. Corinthians 2 and 10. And ye are completing him. We are completing him. We have that relationship that God, uh, Jesus hung on the cross and and um, and brought that relationship back together again that was broken due to the sin of Adam, which is the head of all principalities. God is the, is the head of everything. Praise God. Of all principality, whether over a uh, angelic angels heavenly things we see things we don't see earthly thing demonic thing he's lord of lord and king of king over everything praise god but we're complete in the lord because of, we take we have the righteousness of god in christ jesus because of salvation praise god and more praise god and uh 2 and 11 i'm going to go to 15 and uh, uh believe in jesus christ this is believe in jesus in whom also Ye are circumcised. This circumcision is not the natural circumcision that they do to our young boys. This circumcision is of, of the heart. This is God. This is this is an operation. You know the natural operation they do for the boys, but this is a this is a operation that the Lord does to a heart. Pull off. It, uh, it says, "And whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, uh, in putting off the the body of sin uh, uh, of the flesh." That sinful nature by the circumcision of Christ. Circumcision, circumcision of the heart. Putting off that old body of sin, that sinful nature. And we take on the nature of the Lord. Praise God. 
Praise God. You take the nature of the Lord. Romans 2 and 29. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. And the circumcision is that of the heart. Circumcision when is it? when you accept Christ. It's a change of heart. New creature. In the spirit. This is just in the spirit. And not in the letter. That's the law. Not the law. You can't do it. No one can do live that law of the old way. Just per, a natural person being circumcised. You can't do the law. Because you because the law, uh, you know, natu it's natural. The law is spiritual. But I but a person natural sold them to sin. I think it was Paul said. And not in the letter, whose praise is not of man, but of God. God does this operation in us. It, when we accept Christ in our life, take off that sinful, that sinful nature and, and put on the, uh, the nature of the Lord, spiritual, that relationship that we have with the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, that's new birth. Uh, and also Colossians 2 and 12. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And buried with him. When Jesus died, we died with him, crucified with him. Wherein ye also risen, we rose with him through faith. This is trust in the Lord, have faith. And of the operation of God, who had raised him from the dead. Raised God, he raised Jesus from the dead. Praise God. And that same spirit that raised up Jesus is going to raise us up too. We're going to raise up with that same spirit. Praise God. God raised his son up. And we're, going to be, we're going to rise up with the same spirit. Praise God. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. It seals us. Praise God. Until Jesus come and redeemed us. Redeem us. But that's, uh, and 1 in Corinthians 12 and 13. For by one spirit we are baptized in one body. When we, when moment you accept Christ, yeah, and we are baptized by God's Spirit into the body of Christ, and Jesus is the head. Who, who, are, whether we be Jew or Gentile, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink in one Spirit, Spirit of God. Thank God, but in one, we're one. As Father Jesus said, make them one as we're one. We'll be one. He's our Father. Praise the Lord. Baptized, we died with Jesus. We rose with Him to. Newness of that old man was crucified. That old Adamic nature was, he don't, so that means he, he died. So he, he have, no matter what's going on around in your world, we ain't got to obey the devil anymore. We we take on the fire, our fathers, the Lord. Okay, verse, um, praise God. That old uh, 13, 12, uh, Colossians 2 and 13 said, uh, I believe I got it again. And ye, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, as he quickened together with him, having forgiven you of all trans. God forgave us of all our sins. Praise God. That old man was crucified with Christ. The old nature. Praise the Lord. The old man. And the moment we believe the gospel, Romans 10 and 8, we have, we're saved. And, and, and we take on the nature of Christ. Two and uh, praise the Lord. So um, uh, Ephesians 2 and 1 says, And ye have he quickened. Who was dead in trespasses and sin. Two and two. Wherein in time past we walk according to the course of the world. Doing what everybody else is doing. According to the prince and power of the air. The spirit that now is. That worketh in the children of disobedience. All the people that have accepted Christ. There's that a, that's a spirit of disobedience. The enemy. The prince and power of the air. Which is the devil. Which is to be the father. The people that have accepted the Lord. But when you get to. When the Lord come in. Uh, we we were doing the same thing too. Jesus then Jesus came in, we accepted him, and he, when you get accept the Lord, you're a new creature. Uh, two and three, among whom also we all had our conversation, our lifestyle, just living, doing the same as the others, passing in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind, and by nature, this is a natural thing for people having to accept Christ. This is by nature, uh, the children of wrath, even as others. Praise the Lord. Ephesians um, two and four says. But God, but God, I tell you, in this world, people born in sin, shaped with iniquity. But God, who was rich in mercy, gave us mercy, loved us so much for his great love, wherein he loved us. Great, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Loved us so much in his mercy. He didn't give us what we deserve. Praise God. He grace that we say through faith. Ephesians 2 and 5. Even when we were dead in sin, we, were, we weren't even thinking about getting right with the Lord. Uh, uh, has quickened us together with Christ by grace. God saved us, accepting His, accepting uh, the salvation. The day He talked to us, accepting salvation. Those that have accepted the Lord, praise God. We're dead in our sins. 
Praise God, the wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life. And that's a, had, that price had to be paid. And it was paid through Jesus. But God made us alive. He made us alive because of the Lord. Quicken us, made alive. Be born again. Okay, Ephesians 2 and 6 has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places with citizens of heaven in Christ Jesus. Colossians uh, 2 and 14, blotting out the, that's the, the, the handwriting of the ordinance, ordinance that was against us and was contrary to us. We could, if when Christ is uh, born in shape in, in iniquity, just couldn't do the word. I mean, couldn't do the law. Couldn't obey the law. It was against the man's nature because he was a sinner, born in sin, shaped in iniquity, and took it and took it out of the way and nailed, made it. So what he did, he died in our place, took the punishment for us, and died in our place. And then we had once Jesus coming to our, we had that relationship with the Lord. Yeah, praise God. But one thing about the the law gave us the knowledge of sin that we needed a savior. And the last verse, two and fifteen, having spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in, in it. So, thank God for Jesus. Triumphing over. We're more than conquerors. Him that loves us. Try, open up a way. He laid a foundation. Open up a way. What more can he do? He opened and paid the price. He, he, in our place. He stood in our place. And, and, and uh, died on the cross. Carried our sins. So all, he, all he's given is, is free. Uh, salvation is freely. But you have to become... Uh, Want, you know, be one of his come on the Lord's side be ask God to forgive us and come in our heart and uh, believe the gospel the death burial resurrection of Jesus Christ uh, and, and have a change of heart that I want to I want to live right God can come and help me live right I can live this sanctified clean life through you praise the Lord these are a few words he triumphing open up a way the devil didn't know what was going on because if he knew the plan of God he wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory God is so good. Uh, these are some, uh, hope so. there were some words that encourage your heart. Love you. Lord's willing. I'll be on next Wednesday. I was having a little problems, but that's how it is. But uh, God, I thank God for being able to do the broadcast. It's truly a blessing to me as well. And uh, keep me in your prayers. Give me a thumb up. Uh, God bless you. Love you. I'll uh, see you next Wednesday. You, normally I'm on Wednesday, but I had to study more. You don't want to put anything on the air. Uh, on the air. You want to study and give God your best. God bless you. Love you. Keep me in your prayers. Sister Vanessa.